Hey everybody, welcome back to Runaway Roses. I know it's been a little bit since I've made a video, uh, but I, that doesn't mean I haven't been doing something. I've been working on the truck past couple of weeks and I built some rails to go around the flatbed so that way we can use it as a truck or we can put the camper on there and enclose, enclose the sides. And I think it turned out pretty cool. So just thought I'd go take you for a tour of it. Let's go walk around, check it out and let me know what you think. Make comments down below. If you got any other ideas, let me know those too because I'm probably not 100% done with it, but uh, it's pretty much done. Uh, I got a couple other things in mind I might do, but uh, let's go take a walk around and check it out. So here's my truck. As some of you may know, it's a 2022 Ram 4500. You may have seen it before if you've watched our channel, but uh, I put on the skirted flatbed when I bought the truck and it's just such a giant bed back there I wanted to have something on it so that I could you know be able to throw stuff in the back like I did with a pickup truck but uh, you know when you just have a flatbed and you got nothing to hold anything in then you got to strap everything down and uh, and that's okay but if you want to just be able to toss some lumber and stuff like that in the back then you kind of need something so this is what I built what I used was some deck boards, just some uh, pressure treated deck boards. And built it all the way around. The back has a double gate. So that way I can remove it. I can lift it up and swing the doors out. And what I did was I used a black stain on the lumber and I think it looks pretty good. Gave it a little style on there. It kind of has a little bit of an old school look on a, on a new truck. So that's kind of why I built it that way with, with, with the slats, the, th the three slats on there instead of just putting, you know, one big two by 12 or, you know, two two by 10s to get some height or something like that. I wanted to give it, you know, some style and make it look good. And then that's why I also used the uh, carriage bolts and left the bolt heads uh, shiny, so they kind of go with, along with the, the, you know, the chrome on the truck and, and the wheels and that sort of thing. So I think it turned out pretty good. It was a lot of work, but uh, real happy with it. Just kind of built the, the front there to kind of go along with the headache rack. And that way it gives me a big giant area inside the, the bed be able to throw stuff and I have been throwing some lumber and we moved a bunch of furniture over the weekend and I actually even put a a uh, zero turn lawnmower in the back of this thing the other day and uh, it's worked out great so I'm real excited about, about that and and these sides I can remove them just lift them up basically I put some hinges here on, on each side so there's two doors in the back as you can see there's split in the center so I put these little latches here and just kind of lift them up and they stay up and I drilled a hole on each side there so I can do that and I go up and down and then I just put a little lock up here if I can do this one-handed here and then just kind of swing it out and then that way if I want to just leave the door open just to swing it out to load stuff. I can do that. So I can do that on both sides. Um, I got. I need to change out the hinge pins on it. Um, but then if I want to remove it, <clears throat> excuse me, all I gotta do is just pull these pins out. It's got some screws in there right now. I need to get a different size because they're a little bit small. Uh, so I need to get some different ones there. So I just pull those pins and then I can just pick up the, the door do that to each one and uh, it'll come right out and that's what I'm going to do here shortly because I'm about to load up the camper in just a little bit and uh, when I do that I'm going to leave the leave the sides on on each side take the back doors off and then we'll be all set for the camper and one thing is I built the, the rails flush with the outside rail here. 
and or not exactly flush, but it's on the outside instead of being on the inside. So you can actually see it down there. It worked out good for two reasons for me anyhow. Uh, that way, if I want to strap something down in the back of the truck, then I can actually still run a strap underneath and hook it onto the rail and then uh, you know be able to use it to strap something down inside. Uh, also, I think it just gives it a nice cleaner look personally. Uh, it's kind of what I was going for as well. But one of the main reasons that I did put it on the outside is because I also have to use the tie downs and on my camper, I had drilled holes in the, in the side. I needed the tie downs for the truck camper to go inside from this one handed here. Sorry about that. So as you can see, I needed the, the hook part of my tie down, which is gonna be at about that angle there to be inside the rail. So, so that is why I also put it on the outside of, of the rail. So that way it gives me clearance to be able to do that and then shut the door and, uh, and then it all works. So, because often you'll see people that build rails, they'll, they'll put a two by four on the outside and then they'll put the slat on the inside, which would be kind of in line with the, 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 side, the side of the bed. But uh, I chose not to do that for my situation and uh, it's working out pretty good so far. I did have to build a new bump stop for the camper yesterday. And that is because the one I built before was out of pressure treated lumber and it warped. And it wore, it still worked, but it just bothered me being warped. So I built a new one, just got another two by 10, non pressure treated. Uh, it's gonna be in the garage staying dry most of the time, so not a big deal. And then also what I did here was I put an eye loop on the inside, put one there, and actually kind of ties in with both sides, kind of holds, not only holds the bumper in place, but also kind of holds the side of the rails in place as well. And then I have my plug back there for the seven pin. So that is, the new uh, addition to the truck here. I'm pretty excited about it. Turned out real well. Just put a pin in there and put a lock in there or whatever. And uh, pretty cool. So I'm gonna be hooking up the camper here in just a little bit and uh, see how it looks. Some of you may ask, well, why did I build this instead of just putting some storage boxes on the side, which is very popular for a lot of people to do when you're running a truck camper on top of a flatbed, which is awesome. I would love to do that and have that storage. Uh, it'd be really cool. But for me, I do like to use my truck as a truck and I use it, you know, around home and that sort of thing. I like to haul stuff in the back and I didn't really want to limit the space by putting storage boxes on each side. Uh, although it has its benefits being able to throw stuff in them, which is great. Maybe I'll do that one day, but for now, I just kind of wanted to build some sides to it and uh, be able to use the truck as a truck and be able to throw stuff in the back if I want to. So that's why I built the, the side rails. And, uh, and then this way I can still put the camper on and be able to have a side rail on, on it as well. And then I can lift that side rail off if I want to be able to store stuff behind it, put some tubs or whatever, you know, outdoor rugs or anything I want to put in there between the rail and the camper. I can just throw it back there. You know, it's not going to keep them dry, but you know, if it doesn't matter if they get wet, so what? So that's why we built uh, the side rails here. So, but uh, one thing I did want to mention was building this, this these bed rails, it wasn't cheap. Uh, I think it was worth it for me anyhow. It was probably around $300, maybe a little bit more. The most expensive part of it was all of the hardware, all the bolts, the washers, the lock washers, the nuts, the hinges, everything. Uh, that pretty that added up real fast. The lumber wasn't too bad, but everything else just kept adding up. So uh, keep that in mind if you're going to think about building something like that yourself. Uh, you know, it's probably going to be a few hundred dollars. But anyhow, 
stick around and we'll see it with the camper on it. So I've also been working on this. Carl and I got this last week. And I'm super excited about it. It's an 05 Jeep Rubicon Sahara. It's an LJ. I used to have one just like this, an 05 khaki color Rubicon LJ uh, many years ago and I got rid of it and I've wanted one ever since. And uh, long story short, I did buy another LJ and I got rid of it because I wanted a khaki color Rubicon again. And I finally found another one. And uh, so we got this and I am not gonna get rid of it. It needs some love, but I'm working on it. This is a rare Rubicon Sahara, which is actually, they only made a thousand of. This is number 456. So it was a very rare limited edition 1000 uh, Rubicon Saharas in 2005 and I'm super stoked to have it. So that's also what I've been working on, but uh, getting ready to hook the camper up here shortly. So let's check out the camper on the truck. There it is. Camper loaded up. Side rails look pretty good for just something, you know, to uh, fill in that gap there and be able to put some storage behind it. I think it looks pretty good and it's functional without actually having to put some full uh, large boxes on there, which I may do one day, but right now don't really need to. Hopefully this will work for us for a while. And uh, we can still put stuff back there that will be okay to get wet, any sort of boxes or outdoor stuff, outdoor rugs, chairs, whatever. And uh, so I think it looks all right. There's the Bigfoot, 2020 Bigfoot, 10-4. So as you can see, the, the tie downs are behind the, the rail here. So that works out good. That, and it hooks down under there, which again is why I put the, the rails on the outside of the rail instead of the inside of the rail. So that way I can put the tie downs behind it and uh, you don't really even see them. And that worked out pretty good. Happy with that. Again, that is a black stain. It's a bare, true black is what they call it, stain. It has some poly in it. It's like a satin finish. And uh, so there you go. There's all the space where we can store all of our extra stuff. And uh, should be pretty good. Looking forward to going camping with it and being able to throw some stuff back behind those rails and uh, whatever we want and some firewood and, and all that good stuff. So. If you like the video, uh, please give it a thumbs up, uh, share, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you got any suggestions, anything like that, uh, let me know. Uh, make a comment down below. Uh, it's certainly not perfect, but right now I think it's going to work for us. So hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time on Runaway Roses. Bye-bye.